On today's adventure, we are headed 30 miles north of Alpena, Michigan to Presque Isle Harbor, just off US 23. The small community rests on the shore of Lake Huron. The lake caters to fishermen, divers, and water sports enthusiasts alike. Having lived on Grand Lake about a mile from the harbor for nine years, I have had many adventures exploring this four season playground. Now I share with my family all this area has to offer and get to experience everything through their eyes. Paddling in Lake Huron is so much different from an inland lake. You can discover shipwrecks, explore islands, rest on secluded beaches, and see wildlife you might not be able to see elsewhere. It's also a more challenging environment, with waves and swells making pedaling more interesting and fun. We started building my kayak at the end of my 7th grade year, and it took us two years to finish it. It was a bit of a father-son project, and I've been using it ever since. In 2014, Thunder Bay Marine Sanctuary was expanded to include this area. Today we are paddling from Presque Isle Harbor to Albany Bay just south of the harbor to visit the wreck of the Albany. A 202-foot paddle wheeler steamer launched in Detroit in 1846 and running aground during a storm on November 26 of 1853, just seven years later. She was carrying cargo and 200 passengers. No lives were lost. perfect time to kayak is in the morning hours before the wind kicks up. This does also allow you to be able to see more underwater as you don't have the waves to inflict contrast where you can't see what's going on. In terms of uh, safety, you want to always wear a life jacket. Um, if you're on the big lake, as we are today on Lake Huron, you're going to want to use a spray skirt. If you don't have a kayak that's made for that, then you might consider getting one or stay pretty close to shore. You also want to always check the weather before you go. I would avoid, if you think there's a storm coming, even being out on the water. But uh, if something shows up, you see it or hear it coming, then you want to get off the water quickly. You can also carry equipment, especially on the big water. I use a bilge pump and a paddle float. Just a quick aspect about the bilge pump, if people haven't seen this before, if you have water in your kayak, you're going to get back into your kayak, you're going to hook up your spray skirt, you're going to shove the bilge pump down between your spray, spray skirt and get it inside between you and the spray skirt and then you're going to start pumping and you're going to start to pump water out of your boat. What makes the spray skirt important is that it keeps, it keeps water from coming back into the kayak. When properly done and using safe measures, this is a very enjoyable experience that anybody can do. Know your limitations and have fun. Whether it's the first time or the 50th time pedaling up to a wreck, I am always filled with anticipation to see, feel, and experience this maritime history laid out before me. Viewing through crystal clear water, the Albany was once 202 feet long with a 29-foot beam and a gross tonnage of 669.
cargo was provisions, supplies, and passengers. Once running aground, passengers spent a horrible night aboard, but were all safely landed the following day. The wreck was stripped of its furniture and abandoned for the season. Around 106 feet is what is remaining today of Paddle Wheeler Steamer Albany, here in Albany Bay, Presque Isle, Michigan. I've seen shipwrecks since I was four, and I never cease to be amazed at these quiet, underwater ruins. Though they are sometimes difficult to find, it is well worth the peril to discover these relics of history. It's good to take a break now and then. Don't kill yourself out there paddling, have fun. That's the important thing. Carry some water and maybe carry a snack to keep your energy up and keep hydrated. Other equipment you might like to have would be maybe a compass or a map. I often bring a dry bag with me, carry extra clothing in case you had a mishap. This area is very beautiful and we have two wonderful lighthouses to visit. At the harbor, there is something for everyone. With the Portage Restaurant serving fresh whitefish, a boat launch, docking, beach area, store, and my favorite, ice cream for dessert. I say, what more could you ask for? Now get the strawberry. Okay, we want one more and strawberry. strawberry same thing, same. strawberry. Would that be all? Yep, that's it. Yep. I have been visiting the two lighthouses here since I was knee high. The older lighthouse is no longer active for navigation and today is a museum. The newer lighthouse, tallest on the Great Lakes, still shines its beacon to all in need. Michigan is rich with adventure and I invite you to create your own. All it takes is just one step forward. For more information on this adventure and adventures like it, go to michiganmicroadventures.com and visit lpina.com. Saw you smile in the sunlight Your windblown hair never looks so beautiful to me Driving up to Thompson Harbor Fell asleep nice and tucked away in the back seat. Though you weren't the first to say it, you were the last one I thought I'd ever hear it from. And with the weather growing colder, the nights got longer. I didn't know where you had been. I don't have to keep no words from behind I don't have to keep the pieces time I'm going down without a fight Mama, I know I told you I'm moving on to 